are you doing? I'm not going to let Todd take anything else away from me. And that includes my job. You mean to tell me you are going to that office to work beside that monster? Dorian, it won't be for long. Because once I have landed in, see, I will have the pick of the Armitage papers. Where I will be second in command, where I will make all of the shots. And then I will show the son what a real newspaper can be. Oh. Oh. Blair. Kelly. Hello, Ian. Yeah. How's Mel? Oh, um, I, I don't know. When we left, he was doing better. But that was a while ago. You see, Ian thought that Kelly could use a break. Wasn't that considerate of him? Yeah, he went to Serenity Springs. Well, uh, just briefly. Now, I would like to know how you're doing. I mean, it must have been hell last night with Star in the middle of all that carnage. Yes, it, um, it was horrible. Two men being gunned down in her daddy's apartment. Innocence has its rewards. I know you must be very relieved about Mel. Yes, I am. And I really should be getting back to him now. And I should let you go. But thank you for a wonderful morning. Ah, well, you're more than welcome. Please don't hesitate to let me know if there's anything that I can do to help. Thank you, Ian. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Stephen. Don't count on it. All right, now. We're all exhausted. We're all upset. Let's not make it any worse. Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't dream of doing that. Thank you for your self-control. You are welcome. Blair, may I offer one small word of advice? Well, like I could stop you? Concentrate your emotional energy on getting custody of Star. Don't waste it on a battle with Kelly over Ian. You've got plenty of time for that. <laughs> if Kelly gets in my way with Ian, I will squash her like a bug. And I'm willing to bet that our dear Ian won't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> from Salzburg. I lost all trace of him. This is the only clue I have. I've always done what I could to protect you from the day so many years ago when I took you from your mother. I agree. It isn't going to be easy to get a fix on this. I mean, there's nothing in your father's letter to suggest that Dorian's going to have a sudden attack of cooperation. I just wish I could talk to him. That would help. Doesn't make any sense. David's doctor said that he was so excited about seeing me. When I get to the hospital, he's disappeared. Why did he leave the hospital so early? Why did he allow me to go to Austria in the first place? Mm. If he had a sudden change of heart, why such a cryptic note? Is he in trouble? Is he trying to leave me some sort of message? Questions. It may not be much consolation, but it seems to me he chose to uh, leave deliberately. Why? I, I don't know, honey. Is there anything you've left out? Rack your brain. Is there anything else you can think of that might explain this? Yes, maybe. I hesitate to even mention it because I'm... I'm afraid it's going to confirm what I desperately don't want to believe. Which is? My mother got to him. Whoa, that's uh, quite a leap. What is this information? Dr. Klaus said that he got a telephone call just before he vanished. Well, your, your father's a famous concert pianist. He just went through a terrible accident. Of course, he gets lots of phone calls. True. Well, why do you think Dorian made the call? I didn't know you were back. Oh, you look wonderful. How are you? So, how's David? How is David? Gee, Mother, I don't know since I never got to see him. And how is that possible? 
he packed up and disappeared. Why? Why on earth would he do such a thing? You tell me. What? Cassie, you, you just had a really long flight. You must be exhausted. Maybe this isn't the best time to go into this. Oh, no, I disagree. I think the timing couldn't be any more perfect. Would someone like to tell me what's going on? Gladly. You're going to tell me what you did to my father. Nothing. Then why did he disappear? I haven't the foggiest idea. You're lying. I absolutely am not. Mel, if this is all your fault, I'm sorry, but you've been filling her head with your crazy theories about my past, my childhood, my family. Cassie and I wouldn't have to theorize if you'd just tell us the truth. How many times do I have to say it? There is absolutely nothing to tell. Then why did David write this? He said that he had always... He said that he took me away from you when I was a child because he wanted to protect me. What did he mean by that, Mother? I don't know, Cassie. I really don't. Didn't you say that he sustained massive head injury? From which his doctor said he has recovered. But I didn't see him, so I'm in no position to offer an opinion. Please, do not misunderstand me. I am very, very sympathetic about what happened to David, and especially what happened to dear Jenny. But, I mean, we have had our own share of tragedy right here in Randview. Yes, I know, I know. Well, then, perhaps you would edify me. I mean, in the time since you have been gone, Mel was nearly killed. Poor Star's life was jeopardized by a terrorist. Blair's war against Kelly has ex escalated beyond control. And yet somehow you think that I would have the time, let alone the inclination, to have your father kidnapped? No. I mean, that is what you are suggesting, is it not? I'm not saying kidnapped. What? You're overwhelmed. That's what it is. You are. With excess emotion and the loss of Patrick, honey, Mel's right. You need to get some rest, and so does he, for that matter. Let me take you home, please, and, and we'll put you into bed, and then when you're completely rested, I will tell you anything, I repeat, anything, that you want to know. I promise. You just um, oh, wait for me, and, and I'll be right out. I want to say goodbye to now. She's a wreck. I hope that you will now have the good sense and the grace to leave this alone.